Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tony from Momo Paintball, and today I am here with Caesar Pizzo himself, and we are gonna give you a quick video on the functionality of an autococker. So guys, uh, like I said, I'm here with Caesar. He is the uh, builder and founder of the Cold Fusion Autococker. And I wanna bring to you guys how these things actually work and are they open or closed bolt system. So without further ado, kind of give us a little knowledge about these. So basically the autococker is a closed bolt system. That means when the ball is fired, the ball is placed into the barrel, which means the ball is being loaded by the back block. Back here, ball is dropped into the breech loaded into the barrel, allowing you to fire. So if I do it in slow motion, I will allow it to fire and then cock back, dropping another ball in. That means the three-way is actuating the ram, allowing the ram to push back the back block, allowing to load the ball in a faster motion. So what we have is we have the regulator dropping the PSI for the three-way, allowing air to go into the front tube of the ram allowing it to actuate the pump rod back. When that closes, that means your trigger will come into forward position, allowing the air to come out of the front of the three-way and then closing it and loading another ball. And that's where you get your closed bolt system. That's your three-way actuating the ram, allowing the bolt to close and fire the ball. That way you get your best accuracy and performance out of it completely with the closed bolt system. In your opinion, so you do think in your opinion the closed bolt system uh, without a doubt is more accurate than this newer open style spool valves, stuff like that? Yes, because now what you're doing is, is when the ball is placed into the barrel, there is no distortion from the bolt pushing the ball into the barrel because now it's technically into the barrel and the only thing that's happening is air is firing and shooting the gun, the ball out the gun. Mm -hmm. So what happens is when in electronic form, you still get the same concept, but now what you're doing is you're eliminating the three-way and adding a solenoid to actuate your RAM. So you technically still have a closed bolt system, but it's actuating faster. That's why you're allowed to have a closed bolt system and this gun cycles just as fast and as accurate as those do Speed-wise, these are going to be faster because your electronics, your milliseconds are going to be quicker on response and actuating your RAM back and forth, allowing the gun to cycle. So all you're doing is you have the exact same guns except for this has electronic solenoid in the front and an electronic solenoid for the sear. But everything else internally is the same. Same bolt, same hammer, same RAM, same everything. Cocking rod. So every time I fire this gun, comes back, ball drops into the chamber, bolt comes forward process over and over and over again. And the cycle it happens every time over and over. So basically, as long as that bolt comes down, the ball comes down, the breech goes back, ball is loaded into the barrel. And then next and next, uh, as with an open uh, bolt system, the, the bolt is always back and just pushes forward every time. So what's happening is, is when the gun's being fired, the actual bolt is already in the rear, mm -hmm. the bolt is pushing the ball forward, and air and bolt are being released at the same time. So now you have two distortions. You have a bolt distortion and you have an air distortion. With the autococker, you only have a little bit of air distortion, which a lot of the barrels, as long as you have a nice, nice tight barrel, you'll get a better grouping on your So paint. that paint being bored exactly to the in diameter, inner diameter of the barrel is very important for the autococker. So technically what Tony said, yes. So you need to have a tight breech around the ball. So if you have a 6880, barrel then your ball should be one tenth you know bigger no no more than that you want no drag on the ball you don't whatsoever. want any paint rolling down your barrel because they're whatsoever. just gonna you just gonna no flop accuracy. out the end of the barrel correct well that was a uh, quick little tutorial a little lesson on for the guys that think they're autococker gurus he knows what's going on so that was the autococker but before we close this video out i kind of want to ask what uh what's going on with with these what are these well this is the new generation of the cold fusions to be released. He couldn't hold back, Mark. He couldn't, he couldn't hold back. I'm waiting to see. So these are going to be the new generation of the cold fusion, which we still have the same as styles in the body and stuff like that. So after anodizing, these will say cold fusion on the front end as well. 
Stay tuned. Well, you heard it here first, guys. Once again, Tony from Lone Wolf, Caesar Pizzo, the originator of the autococker, supercocker, not of the autococker, but cold fusion supercockers. Super and uh, that was a quick uh, little lesson. Thanks for watching, guys, and we are out of here. Let us know in the comments if you want to see more Caesar. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Is that Go good? home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know.